Hi, it's Tessa and I am in a different location. This is my gluten-free, dairy-free food reviews. And the last time I tried to film this, or did film it, it was in my kitchen and the lighting was awful. So hopefully the lighting in this video will be better. I'm sitting in front of my living room window. So let's just get right into it. I have a ton of products this time. The first thing I have is EcoPlanet Frosted Toaster Pastries and Blueberry. These are really good. You only got four though, and but they weren't that expensive. I think I got these at just a local grocery store. So I would buy these again. They were pretty good. The next thing I have is the Walmart brand Great Value Ready Bacon. Um, this is marked gluten-free right on the back. So I buy this all the time. I have three slices every morning for breakfast with my waffles. Then I have the Vans gluten-free waffles. They're also dairy-free and egg-free. Um, these are blueberry. You get six of them. I don't remember how much they are. They're only like three bucks. I really like these. I've been buying these ever since I started my gluten-free diet, and I will continue to buy them because they're excellent. All the Vans products I've tried are really, really good. The next thing I have is the Betty Crocker gluten-free devil's food cake. Um, I use this, what day was it? Thursday evening to make cake pops, and they turned out fantastic. So I definitely would repurchase this. I've also bought this before to make cupcakes, and it was good. The next thing I have is a Taste of Thai peanut noodles. This is just a microwavable one, or you can cook it on the stove. I think in my last video I had like a family meal one, and this is the one I was talking about that is way better than the family meal one. Um, it's supposedly the same, but I think this one's better. It has better flavor. It's spicier, and it's enough for a side dish for my husband and I for one night, so... It works good. Definitely will be buying that again. Then I have the So Delicious Dairy Free Coconut Milk Creamer in French Vanilla. This is actually a creamer, not just coconut milk. And I would be buying this again. I loved this. I missed my um, French Vanilla Creamer so much. And this was definitely the thing that replaced it. And I don't have any problems with it. So this will be buying... This will be bought again and again. Loved that. Then I have this Nature's Path Organic Homestyle Gluten-Free Waffles. These were, these were just plain waffles. Um, I really liked these as well. The waffles that I've been buying that are gluten-free, I haven't had any problems with any of them. Um, these were nice instead of the blueberry because I could put like peanut butter or something on them. And I don't know if I have a peanut butter in here. I have such a big container of stuff. I'm going to move it down here. Yes, I have the peanut butter in my container that I use on bread or waffles or even plain rice cakes. Sorry if the sun is going in and out. Hopefully it's enough to make this video. The next thing I have is the Earth Balance um, Natural Buttery Spread. This is also soy-free because I try to stay away from too much soy and it's kind of hard on the gluten-free diet to avoid soy. This is soy-free, no GMOs, a gluten-free food, vegan, lactose-free, and expeller-pressed oil. So I feel comfortable eating this. I really like it. You can get this at Walmart. Then I have another Vans product. These were so good. They're um, gluten-free French toast sticks, and I will definitely be buying these again. I just have to go out of town to a different grocery store to get them because they don't have them in my area. Same with the coconut milk. Got to go to a specialty store which is a bummer. This is the Char's Deli Style Gluten-Free Bread. It comes in this package. It's freaking expensive. It's like $6 for five slices of bread. Now I do cut them in half, whoops. <laughs> I do cut them in half because they're long and just make one sandwich out of one slice of bread. Um, but I do like these. The other brand that I like is the Udi's um, White Sandwich Bread. It's in the freezer section. But again, got to go out of town to a different grocery store to get that because I can't get it at my local grocery store. I'm going to talk about those last. <laughs> this is the Kettle brand potato chips, and these are sea salt, and these are marked gluten-free. Most of the plain potato chips are gluten-free, but you have to be leery because they are not all gluten-free. Read your labels. That's the main thing. Just read your labels. I have another one of these packets of the gluten-free quick gravy. Um, it's called Road, Roads, Roads and Organics. 
I get these at my local grocery store. I will continue to buy them because they're excellent. I also have the Justin's Chocolate Hazelnut Peanut Butter. I love this peanut butter. Um, it sucks that it's $8.18 a jar, but it's just me eating it, so it lasts a while. Love that peanut butter. Then I have the Daya um, Cheddar Style Sliced Cheese. This one's really good. This is lactose-free, casein-free, gluten-free, soy-free, and cholesterol-free, and it melts and stretches, which is important when you're buying fake cheese because you want it to be like real cheese. And this is the closest thing I have come across that is like, <laughs> I just took off the um, wrapper so it rolls up. This is the closest thing that I've found that I've come across to real cheese. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is it's a tad sweet which kind of throws the whole flavor off, but it, do, it does okay. Um, I tried the mozzarella shreds by that company, and I wasn't that impressed, but they have other flavors. I don't think it's on here because I threw the other part of the package away. They have other slices. They might have um, parm not provolone and a couple other ones, so I'd like to try more of them. The last thing I have are these Tyson gluten-free breaded chicken strips. They were good. Granted, they were good. They were $7 and some change, and there was five freaking chicken strips in this bag. Five! Look how big this bag is. With five little chicken strips? Come on, Tyson. It doesn't cost that much more to make a couple gluten-free chicken breast strips. I was so mad. I was so stinking mad. And it doesn't say, here it says, the way it's written on the back is serving size 3 ounces, servings per container 4.5. They do that on purpose, because nowhere on here doesn't say how many chicken strips you get. It's like, uh, is that even legal to do it that way? Couldn't the serving size be one chicken strip, and the servings be, per container be five? No, because then you know you won't buy it. Beware of this and they're measly chicken strips. So that is everything that I have this week. Sorry I went on a rant, but I was, when I opened this bag, I was like, you've gotta be kidding me. Five chicken strips, I, I could go on for days. I actually think I'm going to email the company. I am that upset about it. All right, that is everything for the last two weeks of foods I've been trying, and thanks for watching, and I will do another one of these in probably another two weeks, because once my basket gets full, then I have to fill so I can get rid of this trash. All right, thanks again. Bye-bye.